Oh, that feels so good. I mean, that's just perfect. That was a great rain. Great. Thank God for that. I mean, I've been putting out a lot of clover, help out the bees. If you're, if you're, you got to talk about that. If you're into that bee cause at all, and that concerns you, clover's the answer. Red clover, white clover. There's inoculated and uh, non-inoculated. Um, I don't know how much difference. I try to read as much as I can on stuff. I'm, I've been mostly going through southern states here in Hardin County, Kentucky. But it's working, and it's not just, it hasn't just helped. It's a keystone uh, plant. I mean, it's a nitrogen fixer, so it builds your topsoil and fixes the nitrogen level. So do uh, locust trees, which I've also planted over in that corner, so I know it's a little hard right now. Big rain just came through perfect. I mean, all the seed I put out, I hope it makes it normal. Yeah, weather the last two years been a little different. We just went like from kind of a halfway winter right into summer. Spring has been a little more elusive, but you know, change, it's a big thing of planet. But in space, we're just a little, blue marble but it's it's amazing the way god made it all works together for his glory but this stuff is working great my front yard this year last year white clover didn't do anything this year is crazy it's everywhere and now it's giving way to the red so it's really just it's taking a great hold and it's i mean you know these fields are doing nothing they're, i'm they're just sitting there it's not economic for, for me uh, to raise anything right now in them. Just do the time. You know, it takes time to do that stuff. That's the odd thing. You know, something as old and honorable as, as food. Raising things for people. We've let so much government and regulation get into it. You can't really just have a milking cow and sell it roadside. You know, in case you had three milking cows, you can't just say to the community, hey, legally I'm talking about, <clears throat> you know, we got extra uh, milk from the cow. I've had that growing up here, and if you've never had real milk, you've never had milk. What you get at the store is not the same. I've had the real thing. I've, I've milked the cow, and we didn't have no big spread. This is 17 acres. Uh, this place here. It's a great spot. Thank, thank Jesus for it. But we, he just gave us a good, perfect rain. I mean, it's, it was just, man, it was like sprinkling, and then it was hard, and it just... only thing I didn't get done tonight was the uh, top of the hill, but equipment malfunction. But that's good, because I'll, I'll re-disc it and, and um, knock it out later. You know, living in the country, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the city right now. And I understand that. But, you know, there's reasons. People uh, look at uh, people that live in the country sometimes, city pe people. This is old as mankind to the oldest cities. People go to a city and they get to thinking it's a little superior. They're a little superior to their country cousins, rural people. But, nah. It's not that we don't know better. That's mostly why country people stay in the country. We do know better. This is, this is for me. Look how peaceful. And listen to that. This is Thursday night in America, June 4th, 2020. If you're in a city, you ain't looking and listening to this. Listen. North breeze. Just rain for a few hours. On and off, light, heavy, little gully gusher, and then just like a, spr a sprinkling can. Oh man, perfect. Great rain, great rain. What's that? And there's country far more, far farther out than me. Kentucky, uh, that's one of the. That's the second state after uh, number 15 state. So just two into the new U uh, United States after the original 13. Just look at all that good green nature. I'll tell you, it's better for your soul, your mind, your heart, and your stress. And don't lose touch with so much uh, old history. 
I think we started going down that road in the 50s and 60s. You know, if it happened before five years ago, I don't care. It's kind of that nouveau thing. If it ain't new, it don't matter. Well, you know, that's a great way to, you know, just throw away thousands of years of wisdom and timeless wisdom, which is dumb. That's not wisdom when you throw wisdom away. So I'd say uh, we need to change America because look at what look at what the result look at what the result is. Even if we disagree on why we agree on something's wrong, I said that I was talking about that with friends before any of this happened. This year, just kind of just let everything go. Things happen for a reason, and I'm looking at a lot of answered prayers. I think this is when uh, you can have reform and stuff, and there are things that need reforming. Absolutely. And we do need to get past certain things. And all I know is united we stand, divided we fall. That's America. And that's the way it is on that. I don't, I don't care. I don't really care what color you are, where you're from. That's part of our individual stories. But America is the first place self-governance is the thing where you have individual liberty. And you own it all together. So it don't matter. You're just as much a, regardless of what you look like, whether you look like me or not. If you're a citizen, legally, you're just same as me. Whether you're born here or um, came here. As long as you came legally, I don't care. You're the same as me. Welcome. Welcome if, if it was two years ago or you were born here 90 years ago. Welcome to America. We're in it together. And that's really the truth. And But we forget that. We call that kind of stuff hokey now. Uh, it's kind of corny, ain't it? <laughs> well, we've made, we've let it be turned into that. But I think it's still pretty cool. Uh, if, you're, if you're here, you're one of the most blessed people in human history. This is the greatest experiment in history ever in human in mankind. First time ever done. And we went to number one in the world in a century. That's unheard of. A startup country, like a startup business, broke in a in hundred years, like the number one number one economy in the world. That's pretty that's a pretty good deal. But you know, uh, just as soon as when we declared for independence at that time, right then in human history, we were the most literate country on earth before we were a country, just the colonies here. Better well-read people, including the children, than Britain, the, the home country. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. That became America. See, those people, the education was so far much, so just so much more superior. I ain't talking about white, black, or nothing. Frederick Douglass is the father, he is the progenitor of the modern black man. At that time... They used the word Negro, and he used the word Negro, as did all his contemporaries. Now, later on, there's counterbalance on that. There's a, there's a movie on um, Amazon Prime called I Am Not Your Negro. So, yeah, different viewpoints. But Frederick Douglass, to me, if anybody goes on money next, it should have been Frederick Douglass. He's my hero. I love Frederick Douglass. He was the living proof to all the racist views that uh, people held on to. That uh, it wasn't it wasn't even kind or fair to give freedom to African Americans, Caribbean Americans, wherever they came from. It wasn't just all one thing, like the American Indian, Native tribes, tribes with plural s not just one people it's not that simple the real history and i hate it's criminal what that we've allowed history to be ruined in this country because we let it be turned into something you can standardize and that means dates and we let, we turned it into a calendar class and everybody hates that i love history but yeah it's been ruined in our system and I hate, I hate school, I hate school, oh, it's, that's got to get fixed too, our school system sucks, public school, now you say that and people say, why you hate kids and why you hate teachers, I ain't talking about that, I didn't say nothing about that, I said the system, the paradigm, 
You know, we actually used the the Prussian factory school system. It's from the late 1800s. I think Horace Greeley is the one that brought us that. He's the so-called father of modern education in America. Horace Greeley, I think his name was. <clears throat> it's starting to rain again. I'm going to cut out. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. And the, uh, there's a few, uh, Oh, it's beautiful. It feels so good. And that breeze, oh, it's just clean. It just blew all the heat out here. It's got like 90 tomorrow, 95 or something. Anyway, have a good night. It's raining. I'm going in. Bye. Peace. Winterbill.com.